everybody. On today's episode of Bill's Comfort Food, we're going to talk about herbs. And I got a text from a friend of mine, and they're like, Oh man, you know, I, I don't have a lot of uh, garden space like you do, and I only have a little apartment, and I can't grow much. I said, Hold on. You can grow herbs in a little pot, in a small thing you can hang on your balcony. It's easy to grow herbs. And just a tiny little bit, depending on the variety, can influence your dish greatly. Now, the human tongue can pick up minuscule amounts of flavor components. You know, in beer, so many parts per million of hops can be detected by the human tongue. So, the same thing applies when you're using herbs. Now, in this particular case, we're going to try all kinds of different herbs that are familiar to the Mediterranean region. Lots of cultures there, lots of periods of history there. People move, the food moves with them. So let's take a little jaunt across the Mediterranean basin. Let's go. Hey everybody, we're gonna talk about some robust herbs. Now, what are those? Well, there's two kinds of herbs. You got the fragile ones, such as uh, basil or mint. When you touch them, they bruise easily, you know. Eat them fresh right away, but they don't dry as well. The robust ones, however, they do. Here's an example. This is thyme. When this is robust, you can dry it very well. If you eat it right now, you get a very intense, minty, almost uh, savory type of flavor to it. Very strong, but still very good. Another robust herb, savory. This is one of my favorites. And this one, uh, also native to the Mediterranean. Peppery taste. Very good. Hmm. And another Mediterranean favorite, sage. And you'll see, you can always notice by the long leaf that it has, almost a slightly lavender, soapy smell to it. But very, very clean flavor. And it's also known to cut grease. Anyways, let's check out some more herbs. Okay, now you see this plant right here, or this one right back here? This is known as oregano. Now, this plant was known to the Greeks, the Egyptians, the Romans, for a very long time. Very useful plant. Uh, even the name oregano comes from the Greek oros ganos, which means joy of the mountain, because you could see in the rocky Greek hillside, you'd have this plant flowering and smells nice and looks nice. Now oregano, you can eat it fresh. This is the thing, it's, it's a very versatile plant. You can eat it fresh and it's very good with mild food. However, its pungency and its real flavor comes out a little more pronounced when you dry it. Also, you wanna pick it when it's at this stage. It has flower buds, but it's not fully flowered yet. Something like this back here with the flower buds right out of it. Well, the flavor just won't be as pungent. Okay, here we have mint. Very beneficial plant. Tastes nice, smells nice. It's good for digestion, good for your stomach, good for clearing your throat. Now the ancient Greeks had a myth about mint. You see there were these rivers that went around the underworld. And in one of these rivers lived a goddess. Her name was Minta. Now she fell in love with Hades. Unfortunately, his wife Persephone didn't take too kindly to this and stomped on her and this little plant here came up after she was stomped so how do we use fresh herbs well here's a simple application just boil up some water add the leaves and you have fresh mint tea it's very good for you instead of having coffee or tea all the time this is a non-caffeinated beverage that'll just help you get through your day clears your throat and it tastes nice Now here we have a variety of different basils. Now these are not robust herbs, rather they're fragile, but they're very, very, very beneficial to us. So here's a 2000 year old recipe of cucumbers cooked in stock, a little olive oil and fresh oregano. 
Damn, those Romans knew how to eat. And here's another one. Parsnips, just boiled in salted water very lightly. Add some good olive oil and some freshly chopped coriander, another fragile herb. And here's an Italian favorite of sausage and peppers with a little fresh basil. And from North Africa and Levant, we have za'atar, which is marjoram, thyme, savory, sesame, and salt. And we put it on either a big pita bread, or in this case, a big dough. Bake it, a bit of olive oil. Listen to that crunch. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Hope to hear from you. Take care.